Hi there, and welcome to another Cigar Advisor Cigar Review Panel Cigar Review. I'm Gary Korb, and I'm still waiting for my Hamilton tickets. Today we are going to be smoking the Quintero Robusto. This is a new version of the Quintero. Uh, it's originally a Cuban Heritage brand, and this is a uh, 5 by 50 Robusto. Mm -hmm. It is made with Dominican tobacco. I think it's full flavored, and it has a Ecuador Habano wrapper. So, joining us today are the usual suspects. He used to drive a camo painted Chrysler LeBaron with a vanity plate that read Castro Convertible. Let's hear it for John Pulo. Thank you, thank you. You were close, it was an old. Okay. He gave up a promising career in professional hockey to become a yoga instructor for the women on The View. Mr. Tommy Z-Man. Wow. wow, that is so untrue. I will deny <laughs> that. You can't go near Joy Behar. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. <laughs> it's the gift that keeps giving. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. All right, well, today, as I said, we are smoking the new Quintero. This is a brand that was created in 1924 by the uh, Quintero brothers. It's the uh, Quintero y Hermanos brand. This was a uh, Cuban brand. It was made in uh, Cienfuegos, Cuba. And uh, then in the 1960s, the Q Quintero brand was made into a, uh, actually it was made as a machine-made cigar. And then in 2002, the Cuban government said, hey, you know, we make great cigars, we can't have machine-made cigars. So they went back to making handmade <laughs> Quinteros. And then in 2006, uh, Altadas USA decided to make it in Honduras with a really good Honduran blend, but unfortunately I never had a chance to smoke the Honduran. The blend sounded pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then um, it disappeared, and now it's back in 2016 with as this Dominican blend. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we smoked one yesterday, Tommy mm -hmm. had one the other day, uh, to get a baseline on the cigar. Right. And I, I thought it was uh, kind of sweet and uh, earthy. And mm -hmm. I thought it was uh, more full, full bodied, but you disagree, so what's going on? I, yeah, for me, and only having maybe had one or two, uh, I would actually peg it more as a straight up medium. Solid medium. We can agree to disagree, yeah. which I know is your favorite, <laughs> favorite turn of phrase in the world. Um, as far as some of the flavors go, very earthy, but without a lot of bite to it. So there was a whole lot of, uh, from the start, and I'm only maybe about a, a fraction of an inch in, there's a, a little shot of pepper that's right up front. So a lot of cigar makers and a lot of people who, who talk about cigars will talk about it being front loaded kind of felt like there was a little bit of that going on so but not a peppery cigar but no. just, just just a shot look, of it yeah. like right up front because yeah, somebody then, actually asked us that the other day on yeah. facebook live and i said no and not. then after that the uh it kind of mellows out which is nice and and uh there's a little bit of spice lingering in the background but maybe a little bit of note of espresso that's in there mm. some nut flavor oh, kind of mellow yeah, and creamy I'll but it is let, creamy. let's let's yeah. talk let's say it's got body without the bite all right, Tommy, what about you? Well, that, that's why I said maybe it's not full-bodied, maybe more medium, but it's full-flavored, right? There's a yeah, lot of flavor. Sure. Yeah. What he said, the nuttiness is what I think smacked hard right off the bat. It almost like walnuts, peanuts, uh, like this. Like if you had a nice mix at the bar, mm -hmm. like that handful, of, it, it tasted like that just nutty flavor. And I think with that, you always kind of almost get that woodiness too. Nuts and wood, wow, <laughs> they go great together, well, um, right? And and but, <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I've seen what he would say. Um, but it's well balanced. I'll tell you that. Extreme. I'm getting more of like a spicy, like nutmeg from it. You know, okay. Like, so you got a little bit of spice thing. coming. At least in. the one I had yesterday. This one's actually pretty consistent. Um, yes. Uh, I uh, I must say that the one I had yesterday was a little over humidified, so it was kind of spongy. But this one's a lot in much better condition, and it's smoking mm. a lot better too. The ash is really nice. Yeah. But and this I has was, uh, strong... getting sweet leather. Sweet but it has. Leather. Yeah. Uh, you know what? That's there. <laughs> the free light was very leathery. You know what? Mm -hmm. S yeah. Not it's a sweet. strong cigar, but strong flavor. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, every puff is a lot, a lot of flavor on the palate. Yeah, yeah. And I'm even getting, you know how I lately I've been on this black licorice tasting kit? I swear to God, <laughs> yeah. I get that here. I don't know. If of course you do. Black you licorice again? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm not a fan of black licorice, but on when you have a hint of it, you know, think of mm -hmm. pouring yourself a nice Zambuca with a coffee. It's almost like that to me. Okay. I so, mean, I, so you said of, espresso, right? So kind of stout. Yes, you said espresso. Stout, but yeah. not bitey. Yeah. Espresso. And black licorice is like uh, having anisette with your yeah. uh, darker flavor. 
Yeah, the with your flavors. yeah, it really is. So, which very, is very which good. is interesting in contrast to the pre light because the pre light and you and I agreed on this mm -hmm. kind of sweet, kind of mellow, yeah. a very light, natural, sweet, natural mm -hmm. tobacco, like a premium tobacco kind of taste to it before you fired it up. Right. But that changed pretty much. And the nice thing is, is if you like this kind of a profile where it's got a lot of deep, rich earth flavors and some nutty flavors, but you really don't want to get too wild or too complex. It's very consistent for the yeah. balance of the cigar. So I agree too. It's not to a complex a good, cigar per se, it's yeah. just, but it's just yeah. nice. You know, it's got yes. three or four things going on that just keep coming yeah, like at Like I you. said, strong flavor, if you like a lot of flavor. You know, leather is not something I taste a lot in cigars, but I really yeah. taste this. It's like, what is it like? It, and like I always said, it, no, it's not like you're sucking <laughs> on your wallet. You know, it's like when you, inhale like a fresh wallet a belt uh you ever smell a, be a leather belt that's oh, brand new it's got a strong yeah, yeah it's got a strong so when you go into the leather store or the mall yeah really. exactly but it's you know how that <laughs> sweet that <laughs> scent goes uh -huh. and then you kind of taste it in the back of your yeah, throat that's true i never taste much on the back of my well, throat we've said this be we've said this before that a lot of these things that you taste when you smoke a cigar are really coming from the aroma or what yes. you smell, not so much. And it's that memory and that connection between taste and, and aroma. Well, that's why we like to point this out a lot in our videos. Uh, maybe we're redundant to some, but when we say it's earth, it's leather, it's sp it may not necessarily be, like I said, you don't stick dirt in your mouth, hopefully. Right. But you know, that, that aroma mm -hmm. that creates something in the taste buds or in the back of the tongue mm -hmm. on the palate, is what it is and leather is i'm really getting a lot are you getting any or no because i know mm. the leather yeah yeah no I, some, I said that in my notes I, I some very, deep rich earth uh, a little bit of pepper mm -hmm. the nut thing is still kind of out there how about construction talk okay, well you, you said you're having a better experience today. oh yeah well first of all the ash is really nice mm -hmm. and uh it's it's it's, it's pretty firm mm -hmm. and it's it's gray it looks like a cuban ash actually mm -hmm. and um the cigar is really solidly built. In fact, it's a five by fifty, but it almost feels like a fifty-two. Yeah, it's pretty heavy in it, your it's, hand. It's yeah. really well it's a lot built. Of tobacco it's really in, this. in there, you know. And they got a lot of tobacco. And the wrapper, this uh, Habano wrapper, is, is nice and oily. And it's, mm -hmm. I'll tell you, how much is this cigar? What, what do you pay for this? Five bucks and change. Five bucks. Wow, for the robusto. <laughs> really, so, really, really worth it. You know, I mean, under this six, looks yeah, like a, definitely under a, six. Eight, eight, nine dollar cigar. Yeah. And it's coming from the same people that make Monte Cristo. And mm -hmm. Romeo right. and H. Right. Upman and La mm -hmm. Poronga and right, and and they've dealt with this cigar before, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, with the Honduran blend, and you know, so I so think this is great. It's coming from people that make really good cigars, and then, uh, you know, you might not want to buy a Monte number two at ten dollars or twelve dollars yeah. or eleven or whatever the hell it is. But this five bucks, did you say? Mm -hmm. and yeah, bucks, no, yeah five bucks and change. You here. could absolutely no make more than this. Six. You can make this your everyday yeah. cigar with the Absolutely. flavor that's in here. And it's made in three sizes, a, uh, the 5x50, a 6x50, and a 7x50. So Plays there's a little fields. bit of choice there in case you like a longer cigar. Uh, anyway, this is a good value if you like a full mm -hmm. flavored cigar. I think this would pair well with a, uh, a rum, a good rum or a long age single malt. Just to get a little more sweetness in it. Oh, that's, that's interesting. For me, because okay. it's sweet, but it's not like sweet like some other cigars. It's not sugary right. sweet. I would pair with uh, a nice red wine, a hearty Shiraz, which is a little peppery, a, a richer mm. cab. Um, I think it would hold up really well because of all the flavor that's in here. would yeah. hold up well against a hearty red wine. It's good with the coffee, too. I was just going to say, I tore through a whole <laughs> cup of coffee with a, about an inch worth of cigar, and it went just fine for me. Yeah, no, it's so, good. With, just about every cigar is good with coffee, yeah. I think. So. I, I, it's a, a pairing I like a lot, actually. All right. So if you were to go ahead and wrap in basically your total overview... Tommy. It's an extremely tasty cigar. Like I said, yeah. full flavored. I'm not going to say full body. Probably medium to full for me, but full flavored every puff. There's a lot going on taste-wise on your palate. And like the guy said, it's not really complex. There's not a ton of stuff going on. But as far as flavor and for five bucks, man, an everyday smoke, you should have this in your rotation, in your humidor. If you want some good flavor, this would go great after a good dinner, steak, mm -hmm. tacos, anything chili, tacos. whatever stuff that has spiciness or beefiness yeah. to it. This would hold up fantastic. It's a really good cigar. Great way to wrap up your Taco Tuesday. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Even though it's Wednesday. Whatever. 
Uh, you, what do you think? I think I, I'm liking this a lot more now than I did yesterday afternoon because okay. probably because I had a couple other cigars before it. Oh, this is the first okay. cigar of the day, and it's it's I'm liking it a lot more right. than I did uh, yesterday. So I'm getting more flavor out of it. So uh, probably because right. I'm tasting with a fresh palate. Mm -hmm. You can buy the Quintero line at FamousSmoke.com or Famous-Smoke.com. And like I said, these are good value. This is $5 for this one. And you can follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Don't forget to sign up for emails, cigaradvisor.com, for articles and information. And uh, I guess that's right. Well, let me touch on one thing. Oh, Tommy um, has something to say. Yeah, I really do. It, I this never is do, important. too. Yeah. Facebook Live's getting to be a big deal. You've seen a lot of TV commercials for it, and they're really pushing it. Well, we're now doing Facebook Live. We've done a couple kind of experimenting, but we're going to move forward with it. So a couple times a week, we'll be... The editors right here, John, Gary, and I will either be in a, you'll see us in the office. If you go to the Cigar Advisor page, all right, not the group page, but the Cigar Advisor page on Facebook, sign up, like it, and you'll get notifications when we're on a couple times a week live. So we'll be live answering your questions, talking about cigars we're smoking. Uh, cool stuff that's happening, whatever it is. If there was a great game last night, if we had some great food or drink, the th cigars we're smoking, but especially if um, cigar guys, manufacturers come into the office and they come here every week. So guys like Jonathan Drew, Nick Perdomo, Pete Johnson, uh, you know, name, name them, Sam Lucia, my good buddy, even Rocky Patel. When they come in, we're going to grab them and put them on live so you can talk to them live, ask them questions, and, and uh, we'll have some fun. So Even if they resist. Yes. And so go <laughs> to <laughs> Cigar Advisor Facebook page and like it. Then you'll get notifications and you'll see our ugly mugs live and you can talk to us. Wouldn't that be a treat? Yep. Careful what you they wish will. for. Yeah. All right. That's it for today. <laughs> Thanks for watching and happy smokes.